Open the box and take out the accessories and products one by one. Take out the aircraft. Take out the spare propellers. Open the accessory box and take out the remote controller and user manual. Take out the DJI 65 Watt Type-C charger. Take out the Type-C cable. Take out the spare control sticks, which can be found in the small cable pouch. Open the box and take out the accessories and products one by one. Take out the aircraft and the backup propellers. Remove the control sticks from the back of the remote controller. Install the control sticks. Tap and hold the remote controller's power button for approximately 2 seconds to power it on. Follow the prompts to select your desired language. Set up countries and regions and follow the prompts to connect to the Wi-Fi network. Set the date and time. Log into your DJI account. If you have not registered for a DJI account, please register and then log in. Then, click Activate. Download and install the DJI Fly app on your mobile device. Remove the control sticks from the bottom of the remote controller. Install the control sticks. Extend the mobile device holder and you will find the RC cable. The cable on the left is used to connect mobile devices and the cable on the right is used to connect the remote controller. Take out the connector from the left and unwind it to the right, making sure it's behind the non-slip pads of the clamp. Place your smartphone inside the clamp with the charging port on the right side and connect the cable. Remove the storage cover and unfold the arms one by one. Charge the aircraft until the battery indicator lights up, signaling that the battery has been activated. If three batteries are activated at the same time using the charging hub, activation and charging of the second battery will not begin until the first battery is activated and fully charged. If the battery power level is at approximately 50% or lower, we suggest charging it up to 75% or higher first. Press and hold the aircraft power button for approximately 2 seconds to power on. Open the DJI Fly app and log into your DJI account. Follow the app's instructions to finish the activation process. If you have purchased or intend to purchase DJI Care Refresh, please finish the purchase and binding within 48 hours of activating the aircraft. When the new firmware update prompt appears on the upper left corner of the screen, you can tap update. Do not turn off or exit the app while an update is in progress. After the update is finished, both the aircraft and the remote controller will remain powered on. Remove the storage cover. Unfold the arms one by one, and make sure that the propellers are installed properly. Place the aircraft on a flat surface with the back facing you. Open the DJI Fly app. Open Settings and go to the Safety tab. Adjust the Obstacle Avoidance action to Bypass or Brake. 
Adjust the auto RTH altitude to a height that is higher than the tallest objects nearby. Choose an open, unobstructed environment before you fly. Check the charge level of the battery in remote controller, place the aircraft on a flat surface with the back facing you, and turn it on. Set the RC mode to normal and turn it on. Check if the remote controller stick input is correct. If there are any calibration prompts, perform calibration in the app before flying. Check the app flight interface to make sure that there are no abnormality prompts and that the GPS signal is good. Tap the takeoff icon on the left and press and hold the prompt icon to automatically take off. After takeoff, the icon will change to auto landing. Tap and hold the pop-up window to automatically land the aircraft. Manual takeoff, pull both sticks all the way to the bottom of the controller and then push them inwards or outwards. Once the propellers are spinning, use your left hand to gently push the throttle upwards to take off. The left control stick is for adjusting the aircraft's altitude and orientation. The right control stick allows the aircraft to move forward, backward, and to the left and right. After you start the motors, if the aircraft has not taken off push down the left stick to stop the motors. If the aircraft has taken off, push down the left stick to land. Press the flight pause and RTH button on the remote controller to make the aircraft break. The flight distance, flight altitude, speed, and other information is on the lower left side of the app's interface. Keeping the remote controller antenna aligned with the aircraft will allow for better communication and transmission during your flight. When the aircraft enters ATTI mode, land in a safe place as soon as possible to avoid accidents. Half press the focus photo button on the right side of the remote controller to automatically focus. Full press to take a photo. Press the record button to start recording. Press again to stop. You can adjust the gimbal pitch and control the camera by using the gimbal dial on the left side. Use the dial on the right side of the remote controller to adjust the zoom when in video mode. Tap the album button on the bottom right corner of the screen to view and download your footage. How to Smart Return 1. Press and hold the icon on the left side of app's flight interface. 2. Press and hold the flight pause and RTH button on the remote controller. The aircraft will plan the optimal return path according to the environment and perform an advanced intelligent return as long as the visual sensing system is working. Before takeoff, Pay attention to whether the flight environment meets the safety requirements. Check the settings for the return to home altitude. Check that the propellers are not damaged and are properly installed. Check that the battery is securely inserted. After turning off the remote controller, remove the control sticks and store them in the storage slots on the back of the device. The obstacle avoidance feature will stop working when lighting is poor or when flying at night so it is important to be careful when flying in dark environments. The multi-rotor aircraft can have two different types of motors, A, B, or propellers, A, B. Propeller A, which has a gray circle at its center, should be mounted on motor A, which has a gray arc on its outer edge. Propeller B, which does not have any gray circle at its center, should be mounted on motor B, which has no gray arc on its outer edge. Press the propellers down and rotate them until they click into place. Always make sure the propellers are installed correctly before flying to ensure flight safety.